Hey everybody, welcome back finally to Let's Challenge Pokemon Stadium and the reason it hasn't been here was, well I wanted to leave my channel settled down a bit and get back into doing Mario and Final Fantasy properly with a proper schedule. So this is just going to be coming up every now and then. Um, this time we're going to be taking, and plus I was afraid of Sabrina, okay I'll admit it, I'm afraid of Sabrina, okay. Um, I don't think I can beat her and I want to ask you at the start of this video, I'll try and beat her in this video, If I, but if I don't, I want to ask you guys, do you want me in the next video to come back and try and beat her again? Or do you want me to just move on to Blaine? Because what we can do, I was thinking, is if I can't beat Sabrina, I can just say, Hey, Bill Murray, won't you go and make her laugh? And then she'll give me the badge, just like in the cartoon. So that's my idea. But if you really want me to be, if you really want me to really, um, kill myself trying to beat Sabrina without a Pokemon that resists psychic attacks, um, then sure, but otherwise I'll move straight on to Blaine if you want, so let's try and get on to her. Now I have 16 questions that I'm going to try and answer in this video, and I'm going to get them done. I might have to wait on at the end, and we're going with the Pokemon Yellow team again. I don't think I can beat her, but hey, miracles have happened before. Actually, the, as far as I remember, the trainer before Sabrina is actually tricky as well. Okay, this looks like a Bill Murray team straight away. Bill Murray and G anyway. And probably Rosa Gina. G just for that ice beam for that dragon there. So how are you guys doing? First of all, I want I know this has the largest combined viewership of like my old so what I want to say first of all here is thank you guys so much for coming along to the stream last Saturday. It was I didn't expect it to be so amazing. Like, I was expecting, okay, maybe I'll go for an hour or two hours at the most, and okay, Bill Murray's dead already. Okay, I've lost already, probably. There's no way Bill Murray is surviving that. Yeah. If only that Mega Drain had done 10 more damage, seriously. But for it to go on for 10 hours, and for me to play so many games, and for all of you guys to stick around for so long, really and for so many of you to come and it was really brilliant I loved it it was amazing so I just want to thank all of you one more time just thank you seriously and um, as well what I want to do is I want to say I'll definitely do another one again maybe not but it won't be for a while just because I think I've done like I, I, I played so many games that I've kind of exhausted what I could play at the next stream and I think It'd be more fun just to leave it as something that I do now and then, and then maybe the next one will be a big long one again, so I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'll definitely do another one another time, so. Anyway, the first question was asked by Darkwolf9814, and he asked, What's my favorite and least favorite Mario or Zelda game? Okay, I have to say, my favorite Mario game is either Sunshine or Galaxy 1. Probably. Sunshine or Galaxy 1 most definitely. I really like them. Um, as you know, I love Sunshine, and as you know, Galaxy 1, I like it better than Galaxy 2. Um, that's my fa They're my favorite Mario games, more than likely. Though I love Mario 64, I have so many memories of playing Mario 64, so that has to be up there as well. Um, my least favorite Mario game? I don't think I have one. Because there are none that I dislike. I like all of them. I suppose my least favorite Mario game actually is probably Super Paper Mario. You guys know I really, especially you guys who are at the street, I really dislike that game. And don't say that it's because I'm considering it as one of the Paper Mario thr trilogy. Because it's not that. Even if you look at it on its own, even if I look at it on its own, and I have played the whole thing, so I, 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 I feel I am qualified to say whether I like it or not. Even if you look, even if I look at it on its own, I just dislike that game. I don't find it fun to play. And if a game's not fun to play, then then what's the point? So that is definitely my least favorite. Oh, go G! Okay, you're down. You're going down, Mankey. Um, so favorite Zelda game. Um, my three favorite Zelda games are probably, I would always have said Majora's Mask, Wind Waker, and Phantom Hourglass are my three favorites. But I know Ocarina of Time is creeping back up there. I don't know, I really, like, 
Ocarina of Time though is one of those games that I just, I feel like playing it sometimes and I just love sitting down and playing through the whole thing over a weekend or something. It's just one of those ones. Whereas I find Majora's Mask or Wind Waker, I can't just sit down and play them in a weekend. I just love, like I love playing them over a week of holidays or something like that, I don't know. So, I don't know, Ocarina, it depends on the situation, but I think Phantom Hourglass got a really raw deal, and Spirit Tracks as well, I love both of those games. I think their dungeon design is fantastic. My least favourite Zelda game, probably Twilight Princess. Not that I really dislike it, but like, I played through it, I've 100 percent it and everything, and I just think, like, I feel like there's something stopping me from wanting to play it too much ever again, I don't know, it's just... The first part of that game, I mean, it's, I, like, I know it, that, you know, Majora's Mask takes a while to take off, but that game, Twilight Princess, it is just so annoying at the beginning, and I, I hate the way it kind of pushes you along, it kind of forces you into all these, like, scripted situations, and these, situ like, I don't know, it's, these scripted events, and it just, it, it kind of drives me nuts really playing it for the start and I just think the exposition is way too long all that crap with the baby basket and the monkey and all that shit I'm just like oh fuck off I want to get into a dungeon at least in Majora's Mask you have the choice of whether you want to go straight to the dungeon or you want to hang around and do a million side quests do you know okay will that kill him will an earthquake kill him 82 and 82 I'm going for it um so yeah, how is Rosagina faster than Ninetales? Ninetales is really nippy. But um so yeah, I don't know. And um, that like that being said, Twilight Princess probably has one of my favorite dungeon designs of any Zelda game. I love the dungeons in that game. They are absolutely fantastic. They're phenomenal. They look amazing. They're quite challenging at times. They're fun to go through. The boss battles are really fun in it, and I don't know, it's just, I think all of that is just ruined by the way it just kind of shoves you along all the way through, it's just kind of irritating at times. Um, so yeah, Twilight Princess is probably my least favourite Zelda game. Opinion on Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo as games developers, Vincent Rise 9502. Okay, like... I don't know whether you mean like as companies that make games, because I didn't know that Microsoft and Sony actually made games. I thought they just used their consoles for third parties. So, like the like I know Sony. I don't think Sony make games. I thought they were all third party games. But if you're talking about like like their systems as game systems and the games that appear in them, like no one makes games like Nintendo. And even though I don't know. Like, there's a lot of talk these days about, like, that they're flagging as a company and their games aren't as good, but I don't know, I love Metroid Other M and Kirby's Epic Yarn, and Donkey Kong Country Returns is an amazing game, even though I'm shit at it, as you know, so I don't know. Sony, I'm not one of those people, I'm not one of these people that just goes around bashing the other systems. Like, I do think that Sony and Microsoft, they know their market, and people do buy their systems, so they must be doing something right, so... Oh, come on, you couldn't have just done five more HP. Um, so, I don't know, I'm not one to just go around bashing. Like, I saw, there was, like, a, an article the other day that was about, like, Sony's share... <laughs> oh, poor little Vulpix! Poor little Vulpix! Um... Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, and it was about like Sony shares dropping after Dragon Quest X was announced. It was something like, stupid like that. And there were all these people commenting on it saying, This is brilliant! Stupid Sony should concentrate on making TVs instead of games. I was like, fuck off. I mean, there's be nothing better to do than just be that... That much of a zealot. I don't know, it's just... I don't understand that kind of way of thinking, so... Um... Mario Mungui asked, "Do I want? Do what I like to see costumes in the next Super Smash Brothers Brawl?" Um, I don't really care, to be honest. You look, see, this is the team that's scary, cause she is Ghastly Hunter and Gengar and Tentacruel. Tentacruel is the most annoying Pokemon. It's so fast and it always has Bind or Wrap or one of them. So I don't know. My only hope is I think I'm gonna start with G and have Bill Murray, cause I don't want. And then after that, I suppose Edgar. Um, I don't want Bill Murray to, like, go out in the first round if she is a Gengar, because that'll be faster, and he'll probably just use Psychic or something on me and kill me. Come on, is she going to use Gengar? 
Haunter. Yeah, her Haunter might be faster than mine, you see. Um, come on, G, what'll we use? Rock Slide is probably the best option. Um, what's the next question? Luigi's Fan 101 asked, Would, Do I think video games should be considered art? Now, this is the way that I think about it. I feel that if you're going to consider films to be art, then... Like, art is such a broad term these days that, like, I mean, once you start considering one thing art, it just acts as the thin end of the wedge, and you kind of have to start considering everything else as art as well, so... Ghastly? Please don't tell me she has Gengar. She probably has that tentacruel. Please don't hit yourself, G. Oh, G! What are you trying to do to me, G? Um... So, I don't know, I think you kind of have to in certain situations. Um... The only difference is, I don't think there... Whereas there are films that are made solely for the purpose of being art, I don't think video games are ever made like that. Video games, their prime objective is always to entertain. So I think that would be the one thing that would hold them back from being considered pure art, but they do definitely have elements of art in them. Um, Twilight Princess vs. Wind Waker. Wind Waker is better. I prefer Wind Waker. Not that I really dislike Twilight Princess, but it is, as I said, my least favorite. Um, that was Sonic Rocks 141 asked that. Sonic Rocks 141 also asked um, whether he should get Animal Crossing or Let's Go to the City or Twilight Princess. Um, I'd probably say get Twilight Princess. Um, yeah, I probably would. Um, someone. I can't even read my own. Oh, Naruka Master too asked, "Why do boobs produce milk?" And my answer is, "Well, where else would the babies get milk from?" So there we go. Um, Shadow Flame seventy five asked, "What? What's my Pokemon? What would my Pokemon Dream Team be?" I love on put my Pokemon teams just getting the chance to use my favorites. So getting the chance to have Vileplume on my Sunny Day team or Cloyster on my Hail team. I just love getting that chance, and uh, like that's they are my favorite kinds of teams. Are the teams that use my favorites? Just like the way I have Breloom on a team, I love having the chance to use my favorites on teams. Okay, G is going down after this. Sorry, G. Come on, and like I don't know who will bring out after that because I don't think Bill Murray will be able to survive a psychic. Oh, G. See, I can't use self-destruct on him. I told you, this battle is tough, this third one. Yeah, he's gone. My only hope is that Bill Murray might be faster than it, which I doubt. I might nip in and get a psychic in. Um, so yeah, they're my Pokemon Dream Teams. I love getting the chance to like put my favorites on teams. Do you have to think about the actual Pokemon themselves instead of just which would be the strongest option? I, I don't know which to put in. I'm thinking... Let's see if Edgar can just get off a surf or something, or I don't know, just anything. Because if Edgar can get off a surf, I might be able to do it. Um, anyway, let's just see how this gets on. And my thoughts on 6th generation when it comes out. I think the one thing I dislike about the direction Pokemon has gone recently is okay, Edgar is going down, seriously. The one thing I dislike about the way it's gone, uh, there are two things. Firstly, I dislike the way the moves aren't as individual anymore. It's like, there's a vert- that did fuck all. Okay, I'm losing this. Um, and this is only the third one. Think about what fighting Sabrina is like. She's such a bitch. Um, I might have to meet you back, because I will go up against Sabrina, I don't care. Um, Oh, poor Edgar. I'm sorry, Edgar. I shouldn't have put you in. I should have put Bill Murray in. Um. Oh yeah, sixth gen. I don't like the way. Like, there's a there's a version of every type. There's a let's say like let's say mock punch or quick attack is a type is a power forty plus priority move. Like, I dislike the way there's like a version of that for every type like there's mock punches the fighting version and that was fine when it was just that but then there's ice shard and there's all the other ones and there's just like there's a version of it for every type and i dislike the way they've gone that direction with the with the moves it's kind of just it's kind of cheap i don't know and like the, the way there's a version of um what's the other one that i noticed there are loads of them. I remember reading down, and there's like versions. There's there's like all the versions of, let's say, 
overheat that there are now or all the versions of let's say double edge and there's just like like why can't you just have a bit of individuality there or all the like let's say 120 damage moves for every type it's like why can't it be 110 or 130 or something I don't know Gengar what the fuck I can't beat Gengar I can't beat fucking Gengar he's just gonna kill me now man I can't beat a fucking Gengar! How do you expect me to beat Gengar? I told you guys! Okay, come on, critical hit, critical hit! No, come on, I want the critical hit! Okay, 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 okay. He's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me, but come on, we still have a chance. We still have a chance. Oh! <gasps> you are an idiot! If I get a critical hit, then. If I get a critical hit, then. Come on, Bill Murray! Come on! Come on! Oh, come on, I might get it! Come on, this is the closest thing ever! Oh my god! Come on, Bill Murray! Please don't know Psychic Gengar! Mega Drain! Oh! Come, don't kill me! Please don't! Oh, yes! I beat him! <laughs> Go, Bill Murray! Bill Murray, you are the man! Bill Murray, you are just... You snatched that one from the jaws of defeat. Oh, Bill Murray, I love you. Okay, it's time to go up, try and go up against Sabrina. Man, that one. I need some coffee after that, seriously. Oh, I haven't even made a dent in these questions. The other thing I don't like about the way... That, and he asked, like, my... The other thing I don't like about the direction they've gone now is like the whole like power creep thing. Like, there aren't, and I was talking about this on Twitter one day, like why do Pokemon have to have like 145 base attack now? Like 130, like 140 used to be exceptional. Like Electrode had 140 speed let's say. Or 130 was really exceptional, like all of the evolutions had like a 130 stat, like Espeon had 130 special attack and like Umbreon had 130 special defense. Why do there have to be so many now that have like 140 attack and 145 special attack? I just think that it's gone far too offensive and there's no room for really good defensive Pokemon anymore, I don't know, or else you have to be a crazy defensive Pokemon like Ferrothorn or Faratress or any of them. I don't know, there's no room for let's say poor little Vileplume anymore. I don't know. I, I'm still gonna stick to my favorites though, I don't care. Um, that being said, some of my favorites in 5th gen te seem to be coming out as really good Pokemon competitively, like I, ever since I first saw him. Jellicent, I love Jellicent, I just think he's amazing, plus he's a water type, and I love water types, and he's a ghost type, and I love ghost types, and what's the other one, Ferrothorn, as soon as I laid eyes on Ferrothorn, I just, I really liked him, and Chandelure as well, I mean a ghost and fire type, and it's just, the design is so cool, so, I don't know, I'm, and they seem to be coming out as really good contenders for, um, contenders, for like competitive Pokemon, so, I don't know. Um, Chromium. Oh, Chromium asked my favorite Miyazaki film. Okay, my favorite Miyazaki film. I really love Kiki's Delivery Service. I love those kind of films that are just so absorbing and they're just lovely to watch. You can just sit down and you can just lose yourself in the world and it's just it, there's it's not fa it's not too dramatic whereas I have to be in a different kind of mood for let's say Nausicaa or Howl's Moving Castle or one of them that there's just a bit more drama in them that I have to be a bit Jodakan way I can't just kind of like fall apart watching them I just I love watching let's say Kiki's Delivery Service or P Porco Rosso or ones like that or Ponyo as well is like that as well. I can just sit down and kind of melt into the atmosphere and I love it. Whereas I love, I love, um, like other Ghibli films I love. I love Pompoko. That's another one that I can just sit down and fall into. And I think Grave of the Fireflies is one of the best movies ever made. One of the best war movies ever made is Grave of the Fireflies. And it is a fantastic movie. I, th anyone who hasn't seen it, just it is amazing. I'll just tell you that much. Um, that's not Miyazaki, by the way. That's what's his name, Takahata, isn't it? Um, Nine point five forever. Asked my favorite board game. My favorite board game is probably Ludo. I love Ludo and I love drafts. 
Um, I think you call drafts checkers over there, but you see, over over in America, it's red and black, whereas drafts is black and white. Um, kind of like chess, but it's similar rules anyway. I love drafts and I love Ludo. Ludo is such a fun game, I love it. Um, I'm not going to explain all the rules of it now, but it's great. Um, Eli Zeromatic, Eli Omatic asked, what's my favorite sandwich meat? I really like sandwiches. My f One of my favorite sandwiches is, is, um, oh, what is it? I love pesto with chicken and sun-dried tomatoes. That is a dream sandwich. I love it. I, n I don't eat white bread, by the way. The only white breads I eat are, let's say, baguette and things like that. Or ciabatta or focaccia and things like that. Other than that, it's all brown bread. I love, like, I can't stand sliced white bread. It just, it feels like Play-Doh. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, that's probably my favorite, like, sandwich. But I don't have that that often. Okay, let's just get started on this battle here. Okay, I'm going to start with, um, Edgar, I think. No, what if she starts with that executor? I'm going to start with Rosa Gina, then G, and Bill Murray. Should I? No, should I even have Bill Murray in there? I mean, no. Rosa Jean G and Edgar. Let's see how it goes. I might beat her this time. I almost beat her the last time. I got her down to her last Pokemon, but she had that Alakazam and kicked my ass. Um, Mr. Mime, she used that the last time as well. That dick. He's such a fucker. With like, sorry, but like. Okay, I'm just going all out. I'm going to try and fire blast. He'll probably survive it though, because he is really high spe- Oh my god, I'm faster than him! That's the problem. I think I started with Edgar or G the last time, and I wasn't faster. See, he is really high special, and it's- Like, this is the reason I, f I don't think I'll be able to beat her, is because of the way special defense is calculated in this game, and because of the fact that Psychic- There's no super effective against Psychic in this game, except maybe Lick. I don't know. Um, oh, and like leech life, but seriously, I mean, why are you going to use any of them? Okay, I'm going to go for a slash. <laughs> go, go for a slash. Um, Sweet Victory 117 asked two questions. The first time, could, would I? Is there any video game character I would compare myself to? I find that really hard to answer because I don't think there's any one character that has that really is me. And I don't, like, I don't know, I, like, uh, there are a lot of video game characters that I see elements of myself in. Especially in games where, like, the characters are a bit more developed, like in Final Fantasy games. Do you know, so, uh, but I don't know, I, I'd find that question really impossible. See, there's the Alakazam! The Alakazam, okay, slash, slash him, slash the Alakazam in his fat face. Psybeam, okay, don't kill me, <laughs> please don't kill me! Um, so I'd find that re critical hit! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Oh! <gasps> Please kill him. Please. Oh, that didn't kill him. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna be able to beat this guy. I'll. Oh my god, maybe I can. Maybe if G can kill him with a body slam. Okay, come on, G. This is it. And then I can use Hyper Beam with Edgar if I need to. Okay. Cause that's one thing I haven't- No, I did use Hyper Beam in the last battle. Maybe I can beat her! Oh my god, that would be so amazing! So that- I, I'm sorry I can't answer that question. Like, cause I see elements of myself in a lot of different characters. Especially in Final Fantasy games. Like, in Final Fantasy VI alone, there are ele like, I see elements of myself in, like, Celis, Strago, and Realm. And I don't know, like, uh, it's so- I don't know. Um, come on, body slam. BODY SLAM! Please don't kill- Toxic- I don't care! You're dead! I'm killing you! You fucker! <laughs> um, and then I could just self-destruct on whatever the last thing is, so it'll be fine. I think I might beat her. Sweet Victory also asked, like, whether I play- ah, TAKE THAT! YOU ASSHOLE! I'M SORRY! DID I BREAK YOUR CONCENTRATION? I DIDN'T MEAN TO DO THAT! PLEASE CONTINUE! You were saying something about the best intentions. Oh, so you are finished? Well, allow me to retort, you fucker! Oh, Hey, flock of seagulls, you're just gonna get exploded on right now. Oh man, I'm so delighted. I was so worried about that I wouldn't be able to beat Sabrina, and now I'm just, I'm so happy right now. Um, okay, so he asked as well, do I play Minecraft? Okay. I, there's another LP here, and he was in the chat, he's a friend of mine from college, and he just started doing Minecraft videos recently, his um, YouTube ID is something more normal, um, 
and or Kevin, whatever. Um, he was in the chat. He was Spongy Kev. You might remember him from the stream. Um, we beat you. Thank you, G, G, and we're Rosa Gina. You guys are amazing. And Bill Murray in the last battle, like I told you guys, G, we're Rosa Gina, and Bill Murray are where it's at. That was amazing. Um, okay, I've got to finish these questions. He asked, "Do I play Minecraft?" I watch Minecraft. I watch it when Kevin does Minecraft because I really enjoy it. But, and I have played. I haven't bought Minecraft, but I've played you know, the free version where all you can do is make things. It doesn't have the RPG elements or whatever. And like, I had fun playing it. And I. Oh, by the way, we're going on to Blaine in the next video. Um. I had loads of fun playing it, so and like I am um, like I, but I think if I were to start playing Minecraft, I would really get absorbed into it because all the way ever since I was a child, I've ha loved like even when I was a child, I loved creating worlds. Like I used to draw these big, huge pictures of two-dimensional worlds, almost like you'd see in video games, like loads of them, and um, like big, long ones on loads of pieces of paper. And as well, I used to, I had a sand pit. Um, and it was like shaped like a blue sea sh half a clam or whatever but there was sand in it and there was always water in it as well because of all the rain but I used to put water in it if it was sunny and there wasn't any water in it and I used to like make worlds out of that with little rivers and mountains and plants made out of like bits branches of other plants and things like that and I used to love that and I used to have like toy animals that I'd play with in it and dinosaurs and things like that and I used to do that even when I was like 10 and 11 years old because I just love creating um, and that's why I think, like, I like I would love Minecraft if I got into it, probably. But, I don't know, I just, like, I meant to, I was going to buy it recently, but then I ended up buying Final Fantasy XIII instead, because they were both the same price. <laughs> so, yeah. I know, I think I would love it. I don't play it at the moment. But, yeah. Um, Demosina Yuan, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. That's the way I improvised it, so let me know if I'm not. Asked, are my parents like Sabrina and Brock? My parents look nothing like Sabrina and Brock, actually. Because my mom isn't, like, a 19-year-old person who has, like, a fringe and long... Well, she does have long, dark hair, but she doesn't have a big, like, mega fringe like Sabrina does. And she doesn't have that grumpy expression on her face all the time. And my dad isn't, like, a weird Chinese guy with spiky hair. His hair is kind of like Brock's, I suppose. He isn't like a weird Chinese guy with no eyes anyway. And to wear... He, my dad doesn't wear aprons or, or go around frat, like chasing loads of women like Edgar or anything like that. So no, not really. Windexter345 asked... Like he said um, that I'm never going to co-op Banjo-Tooie. And that's not because I don't want to. That's because it would be... Like that game is... Pro and like I've said this to Amanda, we've like said like... That game is the most impossible game to co-op. It's just... It, it's too open. But I'm telling you guys now, Banjo-Tooie, since I got it, like, because I never got to play it when I was younger, because it just wasn't in any of the shops, and I finally got it last year. Or was it this year? It was this year. And I love that game. That is one of my new favorite games of all time, because you know I just love these huge open worlds that you can explore, and I think that game really is the quintessential open format game that and I just and collecting game I just I love it I think it's perfect there is nothing I would change about that game it is amazing so I definitely will LP2E at one stage mark my words and I think that is more of an autumn that is an October November game so I might do it see I'm planning on doing Super Metroid and Metroid Other M soon so um, but maybe when Final Fantasy 6 is done I'll do well, I'll do 2E I don't know I might do Ocarina of Time or Master Quest or something I don't know Darkwolf9814, oh, he also asked, have I ever played a Tales game? I never have. Tales of Symphonia or any of them? I never have. I don't know. I'm really weird about RPGs. I'm kind of picky about them, so I don't know whether I'd like them or not. Um, so, I don't know. I never have. Maybe I will someday. Um, if any of you would like to recommend which one is the best, because I know there are a lot of them. So, I don't know. Maybe I will someday, but for now I haven't. Candywood56, and this is the last question, asked, where did I get the name Kite Errant from? Okay, Kite Errant is the name of my vlog channel that I really must get back into using. Um, it, where I got the name, the name for that is almost as stupid as Rock Paper Mario. Where I got the name for that was, I was thinking of a name for my vlog channel, and I was doing this piece in piano at the time, this study called La Chevaleresque, by, you might know it, by Bergmuller. Or I had done two years or no, two years earlier or a year earlier I had done it. The Chevaleresque. And that's translated as the Knight Errant, okay? 
So I was like, that was going around in my head. And then on the same day, I was listening to, has everyone, anyone heard Kite Song by Kate Bush? It's one that goes, come up and be a kite! Like that. Um, so, I, I was, and it goes, la 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 la. So that's where I got it from. I just put kite in instead of night, and I got kite errant. So that's where I got it from. It's so stupid. So <laughs> that's where I got the name from. It doesn't even make any sense. Once again, comments um, with questions in the vid in the comments below. Um, questions in the comments below will be asked when we take on Blaine in the Cinnabar Gym. I'm glad to be getting back into this. I'll see you next time whenever I do this. So um, thanks for watching. Thanks again for showing up at the stream if you did, and I hope. If I do another one, that you'll all show up again. Thank you so much. It was so fun. Um, and I can't believe I beat Sabrina. It was fantastic. I'll see you next time on that's Challenge Pokemon Stadium, guys. Have a good one.